Hello everyone, in this video I am going to introduce you to Kubernetes based discovery in Hazelcast. In the previous video we have learned about multicast discovery where multiple instances of application running on same host are able to connect to each other via multicast. Okay. So because they are running on local host it can easily find it via multicast. That's not the case with Kubernetes because whenever we are running multiple instances of our application, let's say two or three for example, each application instance gets deployed to a different pod. Okay, One pod is running one instance, another pod is running another copy of the instance. Okay, So a local host connection between them is not really possible. However, these can uh, find each other okay, based upon some metadata for example what is the name of this application or what is the service that is used to access this application by service I mean here the node port services uh, basically if you are creating a service for example then this application will be accessed via some service and this service is going to have some name okay so similarly you can use like um, a few metadata to identify the application that you want to form cluster with okay so metadata or accessing via the metadata is the key here okay but how do we get access to the metadata okay so for that kubernetes has provided an object we call it role and this role object will help us actually query all kind of resources on our Kubernetes cluster like what are the various nodes or what are the various kind of APIs as such. So all this kind of information can be queried if you are defining a, a role. Okay. Now role cannot directly be, directly be applied to pod. Okay. So role is actually linked to a service account, which is again another object in Kubernetes world. Okay, role is linked to a service account and service account is linked to a deployment. Okay. When it is linked to a deployment, it's by default linked to all the pods that it gets created. So basically pod is going to use this service account. This pod is going to this use this service account and this as well. Now, all we know is basically a mechanism of getting the pod related details and some metadata that we can use for discovery. Okay, so Hazelcast actually uses service name. Okay, so this service will be provided with some service name, for example, Hazelcast demo service, something like this. Okay, now all the pods will be using the same service. Okay, will be accessed via the same service. So that way all the instance that are making use of this particular service with a particular name will be forming the cluster okay that's how the kubernetes cluster discovery works okay we will see this in action quickly stay tuned